Uh, this is just a little follow-up uh, to the Jewel Thief I showed earlier. And uh, I changed the 5K pot out for a 50K pot just because I wanted to be able to turn it down and see how uh, low it'll run. And I've got this uh, rechargeable AA 1.2 volts. <coughs> Hook it back up. Um, but I've got, uh, that's the voltage on the battery. That's the, uh, milliamp draw. And, uh, it's, uh, it's, uh, on the, on the 25 milliamp scale right now. But I noticed that, uh, so basically you've got 0, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. And right now, it's idling at, uh, little... It, it microamp is under a milliamp that is idling at. I wanted to see if I could turn it up at what point I start to see light from the LED. I'm just going to slowly adjust the pot. You see the current goes up. And right about there I start to see a little light in the LED. So that's a little under a milliamp still. Keep turning it up. Turn it up to about 2.5 milliamps. That's about two and a half milliamps right there. Turn it up to about five milliamps. So that's five milliamps. Just keep going up. That's ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. And then I gotta switch to the 250 scale to bring it up. It maxes out about 50 milliamps. That's actually that's not bad. Um, for it max out it. <coughs> but what's cool to me is you can still get light from under a milliamp. But I'd say you get usable light, decent usable light, on about 10 milliamps. Um, hell, you could even say 5. It's not a whole lot of light, you know, but it's something to look at at night, but that should, <laughs> that should run a very long time, uh, 5 milliamps. And I uh, just charge this battery, you can tell it's partly pulling from it um, at that voltage. So yeah, it's pretty cool. So basically got an LED, a basic, I wouldn't say it's a basic Jewel Thief, hardly advanced Jewel Thief that will run from uh, a half a milliamp up to 50 milliamps. That's pretty cool. So yeah, I guess just want to see how long I can run it. See how long it'll run and give it decent light, say about 10-15 milliamps.